So we call the, the premiere of a role creating a role. It means that the role hasn't been sung before as an operatic character. Sometimes it's someone from a novel or some other kind of primary source. But creating that role, I, I would say that the first thing you're, you want to find is, is that character's voice. The words and the music are written so full of character and what I call emotional sculpting. When those artists are sitting right there in front of you and giving you feedback as it happens, well, that's, that's just extraordinary. This process has been enlightening and, and we're all there for the material. We're all there because we respect what we're doing and we love what we're doing. I'm really lucky to be involved in many world premieres. The first was the adaptation of John Patrick Shanley's Doubt, where he did the libretto and Doug Como was the composer. The second was Mark Campbell and Kevin Putz, Manchurian Candidate. Sister Carrie, which we premiered in, in Florentine Opera last fall, and now Bill Balcom and Mark Campbell's Dinner at Eight. There have also been a couple of American premieres, The Adventures of Pinocchio, where I got to play the title puppet, and then a revival, which was uh, Bernard Herrmann's Wuthering Heights, and then there have been a whole handful of traditional roles. I have also played five, if you count the puppet Pinocchio, five pants roles on Minnesota opera stages and will play Carabino, the first pants role that I played at Minnesota opera again in an 18 year span. I didn't have any notion of being a singer in any way, but I was seized by classical music. And I thought, I don't know, piano, violin, I don't know. It was a few years before I understood that I had a singing voice that you know might be my path to having my life in music. In my life at the university, and it, if I were to try to express the ways in which my um, work in new opera and in, in world premieres if affects the way I'm, I'm teaching, there's almost no aspect that it doesn't affect. But the really neat thing is that it really combines with that early experience I had with traditional roles. My work in new opera helps me reapproach those traditional roles from my point of view, much more freely and much more interpretively, creatively than I would have when I was a student starting out. I'm bringing into their lives practically and academically work that was created around the same time they were born, which is exciting. We still consider that new work, of course. Brand new work, where things that aren't published, I'm walking in and going, this aria might be good for you, and it's never even been sung in front of an audience or the, the really traditional stuff, which I still believe in you know, wholeheartedly. The beauty of, of this art is that these are not, none of this is mutually exclusive. Each experience feeds the next and even nourishes in retrospect.